support an agreement with, we, our agreement with Russia. And after the signing of the November 6th agreements, we have guaranteed our miners all the timber that they, they would need. And Russia will get large diameter pipes, but will never sign any agreements which will somehow control our independence, which will give the center more authority said Kravchuk today. Statistics. The Ukraine is the number one producer of sugar in the USSR, 83%. It produces 27% of the coal and provides one-fourth of the machine industry. Last year, the Ukraine received 97% of trucks and 7% of personal cars from the other republics. These went into the Ukraine. November 8, 1917, uh, the land decree was passed. It denied private property and land lease to the peasantry. The land was declared uh, to be the people's property, and thus the people's property 74 years afterwards. The Bolshevik slogan, land to the peasants, still remains a slogan. Just a slogan. The, these Moscow area peasants believed these slogans 74 years ago. And, and, but today they have decided to create a stock enterprise and become real managers of their land. The state farm is very productive in this region. We've worked here our whole life. We want this land. This, this is our land. Some delegates want the land to go to the city. What can we do without the city? The workers of the state farm. I've worked here for 24 years. It's a horrible situation. Karashundava, a state farm worker, the local authorities want to take the land away from us, and that's a very stupid decision. Here are the fields and an unfinished construction site, 15 years old. These are uh, future summer house complexes, and, but each hectare of this land can support one cow which provides 5,000 liters of milk per year. This is the chairman of the People's Enterprise or Soviet law, land proclaimed land to the people and they're still saying the same thing today but it means nothing the peasants do, do not have the land no matter what the authorities say or said back then or to say today the Yak-40 flight, which had an accident between Elista and Mahakshura, has been found 15 kilometers away from the capital of Dagestan. 37 rema body remains have been found. The Prime Minister of Turkey, his president attaché, has declared that Turkey will recognize the independence of Azerbaijan. The first presidential elections in Moldova will not count because the two opponents of the current president have decided not to participate. Tomorrow will be the second conference of the Democratic Russian movement. It has turned from an opposition group into a political force. The mayor of St. Petersburg has invited the Grand Prince Romanov, head of the Romanov dynasty, to St. Petersburg for three days. Today is the last day of uh, Romanov's stay in St. Petersburg. This Romanov, Romanov dynasty has been around for more than 400 years. And the Grand Prince is the descendant of the the founder of the dynasty and the descendant of Peter the Great, the founder of our city. The Grand Prince and his wife laid flowers at the base of the statue of, Saint, of, of Peter the Great. For me, this is the most important event of my life that I hope that our nation becomes grand as it used to be, great as it used to be. And I hope 
thing, things develop well and there will be a happy life here in the future. And I hope this can happen now. What will help this process? This process was helped by the actions of those who had the civil bravery to do what they did to start this work. I think with such people, Russia will not perish. A hundred years, years ago, this is the Naval Cadet School, Cadet School, which is started by Peter the Great, that's a navigational school. There's an ancient album, The Grand Prince, he sees a photograph of his father, and, uh, who studied here, and he became an admiral of the Russian Navy, and the Grand Prince would like to send family photographs and uh, souvenirs to this academy. The heir to the Russian throne wished the cadets all the best and that they continue the tradition of the Russian Navy. An extraordinary session of NATO today. This has been called as a turning, po a turning point in NATO history with a new declaration on cooperation and a special declaration on, for the USSR. The Sheraton Hotel. Uh, this Sheraton Hotel in Rome. Hundreds of policemen, uniformed and non-uniformed. This is the These measures are not excessive. There are many terrorist threats. The extraordinary session of NATO. They much interest in this session. This was called a, a historical meeting, a watershed. It was supposed to conclude the half decade of East-West Bloc antagonisms and to outline the policies for post-communist future. There were disagreements in the session. French President Mitterrand would like to see NATO as more of a European military union. Bush did not agree to this. A compromise was finally reached, but a compromise closer to the American position. Declaration of Cooperation, much attention was paid to political aspects of NATO. NATO will be less of a military organization and more of an overseer of world order. Overseeing peace and hot points throughout the world. A special declaration to the USSR to um, a call to upkeep the agreements, international treaties taken um, signed by the USSR previously, and to control nuclear weapons. And NATO welcomes uh, central control of nuclear weapons of the USSR. The EC, European community, has declared sanctions against Yugoslavia, trade economic sanctions, and perhaps an oil embargo if the economic, uh, if the economic community's plans, peace plans, are not upheld. These sanctions will be Le uh, levied only against the republics which are opposed to the European Community Peace Plan. The absence of a peace treaty between Japan and the USSR is not normal, given the latest events. Parliament um, in Japan, the uh, speech made by Prime Minister Maya Kishi Maezawa, major change in nuclear policy of South Korea was declared by President Radio Yu. He called for North Korea to stop attempts to build an atomic bomb and make Korea a, a nuclear-free zone. In the UK, Britain, the Conservative Party suffered big losses. 
Ангбар, представители Тори значительно уступили кандидатам ведущей оппозиционной партии страны, Лейбористской. The Liberal Party had victories over the Tory. And uh, American University in Beirut, there was a big explosion today. All car exploded, blew up the central building completely, and under the ruins, there might be some casualties. So far, no one has taken responsibility for this action. The body of press magnate Maxwell was flown to Jerusalem. He will be buried at a Jewish cemetery in East Jerusalem. Maxwell fought in World War II. He was a captain of the British intelligence. Afterwards, he worked in the British Foreign Ministry and he gained much success as a publisher. He had much interest in the Soviet Union, published numerous books on Soviet political leaders. For four years, he helped create the mag Moscow magazine Our Inheritance, National Sledia. According to authorities, he died of a heart attack on his yacht before he fell overboard. A 